Three, two, one, go. Hello there and thank you for joining me. I am Commander Black Maze and I'll be your commentator for this video. Last Sunday, the first of seven eight-wheel drive endurance championship races took place in the Moryong system. The course features an 85km course of which the first 30 constrict the drivers to stay within the tall canyon walls. For this broadcast I'll kick off with some details about the drivers, the race and finally a summary of the championship standing as the first race was concluded. Sit back and enjoy. A total of 13 drivers gathered at the start of the grid at Goulburn Landing, preparing for the 85km track to Stiebler Terminal. An incredible amount of practice took place the week prior where various racers took time to scout the course by ship and eight-wheeled flying scarab. A couple of names that stand out right from the start are commanders Shea Blackwood and Alec Turner with an incredible control over this scarab as they take every opportunity of the planet's low gravity to boost their ways across the terrain at speeds of well over 70 meters per second. A close group follows with commanders such as Fat Haggard, Donald47 and Osashes, whom still need to find the balance between driving their SRV across the terrain and boosting over it. Alright, let's take a look at things in order, beginning with the start. Here's the overhead shot, filmed by yours truly in the Falcon DeLacy Crate Mark II. All drivers make it off the line with only a minor amount of bumping due to some network latency. For the first few hundred meters, the racers remain clumped pretty close together as they drive, boost and fly off into the distance, with the headlights beaming strong. Shea Blackwood leapfrogged into first place with Alec Turner in close pursuit. As drivers took the first large right-hander through the canyon, people settled into their rhythm, while others took the ultimate bite of dust. I recalled my ship for a pit stop and it blew up. Wow, oh, that was, that was no. fast. That was cool. <laughs> I'm losing you there. Ah, that's how it should be. You've got a good rhythm. Oh, I heard someone down. blow up. That was Buster. Was Buster. Oh, wow, our first casualty, eh? Shea managed to clear the canyon section of 30 kilometers in under 15 minutes, showing the other racers who's top dog. It's become clear already amongst the participants that it'll be an incredibly tough challenge to beat Shea.
Once the racers are 55 kilometers away from the finish line, the course opens up and it is up to the racers to choose their paths. For the guys in the front, this meant going straight up with as much speed as possible to exit the canyon onto the mesa. As Shea was blasting across the flatter terrain, he opted for a last pit stop since he'd built up a large enough buffer to Alec behind him. Not long after, Shea was the first to cross the finish line, taking first place in the race and the championship. While Alec is running in second place, we're now on board with Crank Larson as he has a bit of a stumble with the terrain, flies high up into the air with a hull warning going off, and as he looks over his shoulder, he sees a massive canyon. How is he going to recover? He isn't. Unfortunately, that is Crank Larson out of the race. As we are watching Alec on board coming very close now to the finish line. With only 19% hull remaining, you can see he is taking the last little bit ever so gentle. As drivers were finishing across the line, we have Fat Haggard in third, Donald 47 in fourth place. And while we have this a beautiful Stiebler terminal under attack and this gorgeous couple sitting on the edge watching the fireworks. Let's go and look at some results. All right, so with the results in front of us, we had a total of 13 racers who started the race and only eight who finished. Even though there were a total of 10 places worth of positions, only eight drivers will walk away with points today. Shea Blackwood in first position, who finished in an incredible 26 minutes and 38 seconds, walks away with 25 full championship points. Alec Turner then five and a half minutes later finished the line. Fat Haggard in third, and a Donald 47 mere seconds behind Fat, Fat Haggard. Impressive performance from all the drivers. Osash is in fifth, Connor Scott in sixth position, uh, Kate in seventh with 38 extra minutes on the clock, and a Donald Anderson who had a pit stop issue very early on in the race, who I believe had most of the race done with 18% hull and finished, I believe, with six or seven percent hull. So impressive job, and that explains why it took so long to finish the race. Huge congratulations to all the drivers then, and I would like to welcome you to the next race coming up on the 9th of August. There is a 265 rally course in the Wasat system. So the first rally we did only 85 kilometers. This one is going to be quite a bit longer. So it'll be interesting, even though it is a low G planet, it'll be interesting to see the difference here between just boosting and taking the damage and actually taking it slowly to preserve some hull. On that race, I expect pit stops will be a thing. So I'd like to welcome you to come and join us on the broadcast live on the 9th of August. Thanks for watching, 07 Commander.